Hello, and welcome to the Fireworks Jack-O-Lantern Carving Tutorial. Let's take a look at finished product number one that is made for a white background that has like a white or a light ambient light that's hitting the pumpkin from the outside. And we also have a version where it would make more sense to have a dark meat to the pumpkin on the inside. Maybe if you had a flame inside or something like that, and you would really want to darken the whole pumpkin up. You would want to make the pumpkin darker and the meat, and then just put a nice soft candle glow inside. We will begin with the vector style pumpkin we showed how to create in the video we made just a few days ago. So you have two choices. You can either full screen this video right now, press the print screen key on your keyboard, and paste that captured image into fireworks. You can just have an open canvas in fireworks and paste it right in using control V. V is in vector. Control V will paste it in. This way you can take the easy way out and just use mine if you want to get straight to carving and you don't have a pumpkin yet. But I recommend path number two where you watch the vector pumpkin video we made just a few days ago to make your own pumpkin to get to the point where we are here ready for carving it. You don't want to be a pumpkin snatcher do you? Okay let's get right to it. Pen tool masters grab your pen tool. Don't grab my pen tool. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's start right here. And what we're going to do is let's just let's just go wild and free and just draw. I'm going to click down here, then I'm going to let go, and then I'm going to click down maybe somewhere up here to make another point. Let go after I do a curve. I'm going to hold down and let go after I create the curve I want. Right about there looks good. Then I'm going to click down on that point to make a sharp edge. Come down to maybe right about here. And then I'm going to hold down, click hold down, make the curve I want there once again. Then I'm going to click down here to make a sharp point on that last point. Then where we meet up, I'm going to click down and hold. And then I'm going to drag to make the shape I want for the bottom of my eye. Maybe right there looks good to me. Now I can fill that in, just fill it black. And if it has a white edge or any kind of edge on yours, you can remove it. That way you wind up with something that looks like that. And you might see some people making something like this and they will just draw two eyes, a nose, and a mouth with regular plain black shapes like that without going the extra mile like we're going to go in this video. We're going to go the extra mile and make it look, have really good depth perception and a 3D observation type thing going on. Now at any point throughout this whole process you can highlight your little shape that you're working on and hit the subselection tool, highlight a point, and then you can maneuver these edges. Maybe I want to bring that up a little like that, or leave it like it was. It doesn't matter, okay? So if it's not perfect when you draw it out, you can manipulate it afterwards. Now let's grab our regular pointer tool again and highlight this black shape. Let's hold down the control key on our keyboard and mouse wheel. Mouse wheel up. That way you zoom in. Right about there looks good. And now you can just hit the white area over here to deselect everything. And we're going to grab our pen tool again. Now what you're going to do here is really set the depth of the meat of your pumpkin. So let's click down right about here. Let go. Then let's come down to somewhere around this region right here in the black area. Maybe right about there. Click down and hold and drag until you meet the contour of that other line, the outside black line to the right. Then you can let go, click down on this point to make a sharp corner point. Then let's go right about here, almost to the point of this one, but a little bit up. Right about there, click down, hold, and drag. Make another contour to match that. Let go, click down on this point to make a sharp edge. Then come right about here, click down, then let go and then come right about here. Click down and hold and drag. Make that contour match. Then let go once you have that contour matching. Then click down here on this point to make a sharp corner point. Come up to the top. Click down again. Hold. Drag. You guys should be awesome with your pen tool by now. Click down and make a sharp corner point. And then come down here and close that shape off. Now you can see that black shape. I'm going to turn it maybe this bright color right there. Now, you don't want to leave it yellow like that because that's terrible. But you want to make sure that the black shape behind here is fully covered by this shape. So let's, you can see a little black on my edge down here. See that? That's no good. So I'm going to grab these points 
at any point you can grab the sub selection tool and use your keyboard to just move these by the pixel or you can just grab them and move them like this you see I'm gonna move it with my keyboard because I like the pixel precision once I highlight a point I like to move it with my keyboard and it goes pixel by pixel this one I'm gonna move down and that looks like everything's in place there let's move this one down so let's grab the sub selection tool make sure that is nice and neat perfect and this one needs to go up to cover that just so everything is perfect now we can zoom back out by holding the control key and mouse wheeling down and now I'm going to grab this object the yellow object there and let's just make it white for now really we're gonna change the color and give it a really good pumpkin meat color in just a second but I'm going to manipulate it just a little bit get the sub selection tool and bring this one in this way a little right about there and down a few pixels like that and even over here this one I'm gonna move that in a little bit right about there now at this point to make life easy I'm just gonna set up some colors like I did last time which like I mentioned in the last video where we made the pumpkin that you can save these to your color palette if you go here you see down here you can save colors okay so that's one two circles that's really all I need and the first one I'm going to make or the second one rather I'm going to make this dark pumpkin color down here where it's all shadowed and actually I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker so I'm gonna go to color wheel pull that down okay that's good now this one I wanna make my pumpkin meat color the color that's going to be this inside kind of that bevel look that bevel color on the inside and we're going to have to give that a gradient, so that's why we're setting up this other color. So this one, you can you can set the color of this circle to maybe this yellow here, this bright yellow, and then go and manipulate that. Hit the color wheel and make it a little more orange, and we're also going to make it much brighter. So you see I have it looking gold, and now I'm going to bring it up right about there. Looks good to me. Okay and that's going to be the color of the meat of my pumpkin okay now let's bring this thing to life and give this good depth perception so let's highlight this white shape that we created here we're going to go to gradient linear once it has a linear gradient on top where it's black we're gonna change that black to this dark brown and we're gonna change that white to this fleshy color and there you go you can manipulate that gradient any way you need to now I can zoom in and I can put a line there if I want just grab the line tool right from this point to this point somewhere in there you can put a line and you can make that line any color you want so I'll match it up to this color right about here and you can see what that'll do is give me kinda like the look of an edge there if you want it's really not a necessary thing but I think it adds another level of 3d to that edge but you can see how it is without it you see and with it it just gives it another level of depth and realism now let's complete this eye what we're going to do is grab an ellipse we're going to draw it right in about there looks good to me and let's give it a fill color of this yellow and let's make it have no edge and let's pop it in place wherever we feel like it's a good spot for the eye now what we'll do is highlight that which is already highlighted we'll also hold shift and highlight this black shape behind it you then go to modify combine paths and punch it makes it look like somebody went with a knife and left that shape in the pumpkin for an eye okay I'm gonna add one final touch to this eye I'm gonna highlight the black shape I'm gonna go down to filters and let's add a drop shadow and make it go only maybe three in depth let's turn the angle to be maybe 120 and you can take a look at what it does it just kind of rounds that top off a little bit and that's a little bit heavy so I'm gonna bring it down to right it there and three now let's look at it so you kinda of just rounds it off a little bit make sure the angle is such to where it doesn't look funny on the left edge of the eye and that's going too far that has to be two maybe even one yeah two is good it's very it's a very subtle effect but it's one that I want because you can see how it looks now let me take the effect off See, it's very subtle and I'll turn it back on now 
you can see that there's a slight improvement in just the look and the feel of things. Now at this point you have to decide, do you want the other eye to be perfectly symmetrical and even with this one? So you can repeat the process that we just did to create a whole new shape. Maybe you want an eye that's a little more narrow or you made it make an eye that's a little wider than this one. So you can repeat the process for the other eye. But what I'm going to do is highlight all of these items, that little line, that and this. So there's those three items I have selected. I'm going to group those. Control G. I'm going to select the whole thing. Make sure I have the group selected. Control C. Control V. Then I'm going to go and flip horizontal. Now I can take that and put it into place. Just use my arrow keys and my keyboard. Or you can drag it and get it to where it looks about even with that other one right about there it looks good now the nose is simple we can just grab the pen tool and right about here I'm gonna click down then I can just make any shape I want and I don't really want it to be a perfect triangle so I'm gonna make mine a little odd shaped kinda like that maybe and I can adjust those points at any time what I'm gonna do is gradient that one on its fill linear remove the edge we want no edge and we want it to be dark on top and light on the bottom Actually, I'm going to bring this point down just a little bit. Right there. Right about there. Now, very quickly, you can just repeat the process and draw another triangle on the inside of that one. Watch. Right there. Then you go right about there, right about there, and right about there. And I have that point selected, so I'm going to move that point up a little bit. And let's make that one solid black. Solid black. Let's make this linear a little bit darker, so we can just drag that down like that. Actually, let's make it not so deep. I'm going to zoom in just these points a little bit right about there. And now this one you can give it an outer glow filter effect of uh, glow and just make it a dark uh, this color right here. And then bring it down to zero then bring this down to maybe six and let's take a look at what that does. That's very good. Now uh, you can add some lines. Remember this line we put in for the eyes? You can do the same thing for this. So zoom in, grab your line tool, just go from here to there. And you have to drag. When you make a line, you have to click, hold, and drag, and then let go wherever you want it to end the line. So uh, let's make those a little bit darker than the color space that they're in now. So let's make that about this color. And let's see what that does. It's, it's good. I'll make them a little bit darker. There, that's nice. Sometimes subtlety is key. And this triangle, I need this gradient darker on top. I don't know why it's so light. This needs to be this dark color. And this is, I think that's white. Let's change it to the meat color. Oh, that's so much better. I don't know what I was doing there. Oh my god. I can't believe you guys let me do that. That really looks a lot better. You can even make these little lines a little bit darker. Gotta pay attention to detail, boys and girls. Okay, now let's just draw a simple mouth with the pen tool. Any kind of shape you want. I don't care. You can make it crazy and creative. Go nuts with it. Let's grab that, and I'm gonna make mine a little bit wider. Right about there. Bring it down just a little bit, too. Right about there. Now, highlight the mouth, and we're gonna make a copy of that. Press Control c Control v you can see I have two now there, but don't move it. If you move it, press Control Z to undo that. Leave it exactly where it is, and you're going to leave that one black. And what we'll do is highlight it, go to the scale tool, bring the bottom up just a little bit on that. Now what you want to do is get the meat on the bottom here and make that a gradient. What am I doing? Gradient, linear, and give it the colors that we designated here dark brown on top and the light flesh color on the bottom. Now what we're going to do is move this around. Let's scroll in a little bit or mouse wheel in and zoom in by holding control and mouse wheel and let's size this down just a little bit like that. Now you see what that does? It really gets it in there better so it's not sticking out over the top. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to want to manipulate looks like that edge on top just a little bit. So let's go to the sub selection tool click this and manipulate that edge right there that looks pretty good so you see what I have now I can simply grab my pen tool and draw in some teeth maybe right 
Let's start right about here. I'm just gonna do like a Dracula vampire teeth. So he's good scary looking. Right about there, that looks good to me. And I'm gonna make that white so you can see it really good. And I'm gonna press control C, control V, so I have two copies of that there. But don't move that second one. Just highlight one of them, the one on top, and highlight this black shape. Go to modify, combine paths, and punch. Now Highlight the second white shape and then the meat color behind the black shape. So you have those two selected now. Modify, combine paths, and punch. So basically what I did was I put down two little triangles and I used them to punch one first into that shape and then I punched into that shape. I'm going to do the same process for this tooth here. Now once you have that in place you can also manipulate these points at any time if you want to zoom in hit your sub selection tool grab that point right there and move it anywhere you want it say you wanted it more in there like that and you can show a little bit of meat in there you see what I'm saying so now let's grab and I'm moving the points on this black shape by the way I'm gonna do the same thing to this edge Let's show some of that meat not too much but you definitely want to have the teeth have a little bit of depth perception to them as well you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so let's take a look at that let's see what we got that looks pretty good and you know what I'm gonna grab this sub selection tool for that point there and move that up a little move it over one pixel right there perfect and then I'm going to grab these two shapes that we just drew in for the mouth you can see it's just those two shapes sitting there it almost looks like a cowboy hat huh <laughs> and uh, let's just group those you can work on them further and I'm gonna make mine a little bit taller so I can stretch it like this you see that if I want to uh, not too close to the nose there now I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna go to filters and I'm going to give it a drop shadow make sure it's on the top make sure the drop shadow is 90 degrees so it goes up and let's make it maybe three. Make it this brown color, a dark brown. And bring this down to three. And let's actually bring this down a little more. Maybe two on this would be better. Make this a little darker. So let's see what that gives us. That's all right. That's not too bad. Let's see if I make it darker. Oh, that's better. And I'm going to move my nose a little bit up. So I can grab all four of these items by holding shift as I select them and control G, group that whole thing and move it wherever you need it. If you want to move your eyes up. Actually, I'm going to move the points on this shape a little bit because I don't like how, I think it's too much meat showing there. There, that's better. Now I'm going to show you quickly a variation before we end the video. I'm going to highlight everything, go to my normal selector tool highlight everything press control C go to file new just make a new file press OK pop it into place all those things you copied and what we're gonna do is select the uh, sub selection tool that way we can get into these groups you can see if I try to use my normal normal pointer and I click this it selects the whole group that's not what I want so I'll grab the sub selection tool and I'm gonna grab just that item just this item press shift to grab them together and this one and the nose just those gradients and since they all have the same gradient color I can easily change that to this side I'm gonna make uh, let's see let's make this side very dark brown and then this black now let's grab these little lines and change the colors on those as well and these and you can see that when it's white this one makes a little more sense again and this one is a little bit doesn't make any sense because the meat on a pumpkin is not that dark if you're in a nice ambient lit area I just wanted to cover that because some people might be saying I don't man those are really your meats really not the right color blah 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 you can make your meat any color you want I'm just showing you the differences in the way things look on different color backgrounds you know what I'm saying